Mic check, mic check. Just realized I'm wearing an Acer Day shirt. I swear this is not a sponsored video. Hi, I'm Abel and I'm back with another review of Ruini Kenshin. And this time we'll be talking about the beginning, which I've been looking forward to since forever. As I mentioned in my previous review video, I, I was a big fan of the Samurai X anime. It's based on Rene Kenshin manga and it's very unfortunate that the anime got too many fillers and it loses the steam. For those who don't know, filler episodes are those uh, short story arcs that are not canon and has nothing to do with the original material source. So with that in mind, it's very sad that we never got to see the battle side arc in fruition and also uh, the fight with Anishi. Of course, there is an OVA floating around online. It's safe to say that majority of Samurai X fans have never watched the OVA. So anyway, without beating around the bush too much, what did I think of the beginning? As you can see from my title, it is perfect. In fact, I'm just gonna say this, maybe I'm biased or something, but this is probably the best and the most accurate uh, live action anime movie adaptation ever. Like, ever, ever, ever. So, without getting into spoilers, this is a very different movie. It has a very different tone compared with the rest of the Kenshin movies. This movie is really violent, but it's not what makes this movie amazing, but rather the sword fight choreography top-notch is exactly what you would expect in a Kenshin movie no shaky camera whatsoever it's perfect and you know this is how exactly an anime fight scene that translates well into live action very well done uh, Keishi Otomo the director knows exactly his stuff he knows what he's doing thumbs up yes I love it Awesome. If you have watched the movie, you will have noticed that there is very minimal background songs or any tracks whatsoever, which again really fits the theme of the movie. And I think it's great because, you know, sometimes you don't need so much dramatic, uh, intense music just to elevate uh, some fight scene. A very good example of this that I could think on top of my head would be when Bane was fighting against Batman in The Dark Knight Rises. It was just both of them fighting man to man, no music whatsoever, and you know, the intensity was there. So likewise in Kenshin The Beginning, there were a lot of fight scenes where they just fight, it was fast, so there was no need for any music to play with to begin with. That said, I think I can understand if maybe for some viewers or fans, they may not be used to the very cold Kenshin character. Actually, most of the main characters in this movie are quite stoic and you know, maybe they don't like it because it's not expressive. Nonetheless, it is a very humanized story and it really asks a great question of, you know, can there ever be fighting for peace? You know, there goes a popular saying, uh, I can't remember as the exact terms, but when two bulls are fighting on the grass field to battle for dominance or territory, the ones who get hurt are the grass. They get trampled, they die. Innocent die. To add on to the humanized story, Kenshin and Tomoe may be quite stoic throughout the movie. They are not like, you know, your typical love story couple that expresses a lot of the love. But they come to terms slowly, you know, realizing their error and how to forgive one another. Forgiveness is a very tough thing to do for people. And you know, the way they portrayed it in this movie is very touching. By the way, the actress who played Tomoe in the movie is just perfect casting. So beautiful, uh, so accurately portrayed. Tomoe may be a perfect example of how to make a great female character. You know, I just wish that writers, producers, or directors today if you really want to make a great female character, 
you don't need to make her masculine or like a badass like yeah I'm great you know at the end of it all it all comes down to great character writing and Tomoe does not need to shout that she is a great female character her actions speak louder than her words and it's been portrayed in the movie a lot of times she is a gentle quiet spirit and yeah I love her I love her in the movie by the way I still stand by my point in my previous review movie that you know now that I've watched the beginning I still firmly believe that this movie should have been released first followed by the final which will create a better story structure flow but hey it's been all said and done and it's the director's decision so I just gotta respect that and again this movie is perfect for me and I'm sure a lot of Samurai X fans will be happy once again this is the best live action adaptation of an anime or manga Rurouni Kenshin The Beginning is out in Netflix right now so go watch it if you can what is your favorite part of the movie? let me know down in the comments below I'm able signing out ciao